And I grew up in Chicago, man, in subpar neighborhoods, man. I call them subpar. I don't like to say the hood. That's too cliche. It was subpar, you know. <laughs> it was subpar, you know what I'm saying? We lived in an area so bad, they tried to break in our living room while we were in there watching Cheers. Just mid, <laughs> mid prime time, they breaking in through the window that was behind the TV. They heard us in there laughing as a family. Didn't even care. My mom was like, we are in here. <laughs> I know you here is in here laughing as a family. Wait till we go to bed like everybody else. <laughs> and I was scared of my mom too, you know. My mom didn't have to beat us. She had that, that parental eyeball. Like you ever been stared at uncomfortably too long when you did something wrong? <laughs> like your parents would look into your soul for five minutes, like they would just stare you down after the crime. You know not to pour that much cereal in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> And you just sitting there taking it as a kid. You ain't got nowhere to go. I ain't had no cell phone to hide in. I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> but the parental eyeball comes in handy when you got to use it at a distance. When your kids are cutting up in the, in the fruit and vegetable aisle and you over here by the cereal, you can get them with that parental eyeball at a distance. You had a honey bunches of oats on sale. Yeah, two for. <laughs> 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 Works every time, man. <laughs> Didn't these kids raise some good kids? It doesn't make them violent. You got to use it wisely. Don't. No, I'm not talking about abuse. I'm talking about a quick neck chop, mid tantrum. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. And beat them early. You can't debut the ass whipping late when they can tell on you. You got to do it early. When they get that first tooth, knock it out. Let them know you ain't playing no games out here. <laughs> Gotta, Cause you, you see the kids that don't get beat. You see them in grocery stores, cutting up, full tantrum. Parents are trying to maintain in public. Like, what did we discuss, Gerald? Chop Gerald in his goddamn neck. That's what you need to discuss. I wanted my car. I just chop him mid tantrum. And I follow the families that can't handle these kids. I follow them throughout the store, like to see if they're gonna handle it. I'm like, oh, you still over here just getting punked. Huh? <laughs> My parents don't know the effectiveness of the ear flick. This is an assassin's bullet to a bratty kid. <laughs> ear flick right on the top of the earlobe. It's like a, it's like a sniper bullet. They never knew what hit them. In mid ten, like, pew. they looking around. You looking at the cereal, like, oh, it's on sale, two for five. Oh, what happened to you? What happened? I don't know. Well, you better be good. It might happen again. Wow, this is crazy out here. Hey, thanks for listening, y'all. My name is Tony Baker. <laughs>